This weave has been in for three weeks too long. I need to be able to wash my hair. I wanna be able to run my fingers through my scalp again. And I have been sent Tangle Teasers new wide tooth comb that is specifically designed for 3C to 4C hair. And I can't wait to use it. I'm so intrigued and excited. So let's take this weave out and go through my typical wash day. And I'm also gonna show you guys how I get my slick back bun because I've had so many questions about it. So I'm super excited to just get this weave off and let my hair breathe. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, the weave removal process. The girls that get it, get it. You guys know the stress of like having to cut the thread and being terrified that you're cutting your own hair. This is by far the worst part of having a weave, but it's such a relief getting it off. I'm not gonna lie, this took me a minute and my arms were dead by the end of it. But once I was done, I felt so much better. The next stage for wash day is the pre-shampoo stage. I am using grapeseed oil all over my hair and my ends. This is really great for helping your hair and scalp retain moisture because it's got vitamin E, which is super moisturizing, and it's got loads of fatty acids in it, which get into your hair cuticles and into your follicles and help them stay hydrated. I'm also using a mix of peppermint and eucalyptus oil on my scalp. The tingling sensation that you get from using these oils actually helps the blood rush to your scalp, and it's meant to be really amazing to help promote hair growth but it's also just really nice when you've had a weave or like a hairstyle for a long time it just helps with relief of like the itchiness and the tightness it just feels really really good so i do that and i just massage my scalp for a little bit and then i just braid my hair and keep the oils in overnight good morning it is the next day oil treatment has been slept in overnight my hair's feeling pretty limp so i'm ready to deeply cleanse my scalp because it's been a little while and then yeah just really nourish the ends of my hair to kind of keep its health and integrity i'm going to show you my technique the method that i've developed that i feel works best for my like super curly hair especially when shampooing it with actual sudsy shampoo to avoid like tangles and matting and stuff like that so let's hop into the shower before i hop into the shower i like to make sure that my hair is fully detangled that's why i do the oil treatment the night before not only does it treat your hair but it also helps to detangle it before jumping into the shower just to avoid any matting or tangling as much as possible once I'm in the shower, I fully saturate my hair with water, which takes a while because i got a lot of hair. I don't know if it's a secret, but what I've been doing and what's really been working for me is I'll take like a lightweight conditioner and that is the first thing I put in my hair. And I don't know, it gives my hair some sort of slip and it helps keep my hair detanglable. I know that's not a word when I'm shampooing it. I don't know what this magic is, but it seems to be working for me. My hair has been in such better condition since doing it. But yeah, I just rake that through my hair so it's fully coated and then I start with my shampoo. When it comes to shampooing my hair, I will put the shampoo all around the perimeters of my hair and then split my hair in half and put it down the middle parting. So I create two sections of hair with two separate perimeters, if that makes sense. Um, and it just makes it easier when it comes to like the back and middle of my head to shampoo them in separate sections to avoid tangling. And what I also try and do is always try and keep my hair going in the same direction and kind of shampoo going down my hair shaft to avoid it getting tangled. And I will try and detangle and rake with my fingers as I'm shampooing as well. And I found that this really helps to prevent my hair getting overly tangled or matted. And it just makes the whole process a lot easier. So yeah, once I've given it a good scrub, I'll rinse and repeat. And then from there, it is time to condition. And I use a deep conditioner every time. Again, I just fully saturate my hair. I start at the back ends because I feel like that's the part that you kind of neglect the most, or I do anyway. So yes, as I was saying, I put the conditioner all over my ends, starting from the back, and then work my way up and start raking it through with my fingers before I use a detangling tool or device such as like a comb or a brush, because I find that it's a lot more gentle on the hair and it alleviates some of the work that the tools have to do. Now onto the hero of this video, Tangle Teaser's new wide tooth comb. I begin detangling from the ends and work my way up until I can easily brush from roots to ends. As you guys can see on this comb, there's also a shorter side with two tiered teeth. This definitely provided a deeper detangle for me. You guys can see how it, like impressed I am. It is great for eliminating stubborn knots and reduced shedding. It literally 
glided through my hair like a dream and i love that it's like a two-in-one making it essentially a multi-use tool great for traveling just really practical as well i don't know i just love stuff like that the wide set tooth of the comb are great for gently detangling your hair without pulling help reduce breakage and the tips of the comb are actually really great because they're gentle on the hair and scalp and then you've got the shorter tooted teeth on the other side that provide a deeper detangle which is really amazing for eliminating stubborn knots and it really helps remove shed hair and i have to say i lost barely any hair using this i was blown away by that because I tend to lose a lot of hair in the shower, especially after having a protective style. The comb are also amazing for helping with curl definition, so really good for styling as well. It is important to note that this comb is for use on wet, damp or dry hair, but it shouldn't be used with heat. So, all detangled, I'm now going to let my conditioner sit for at least 10 minutes whilst I do all my body stuff. Like you know, washing, shaving, whatever it is that you need to do in the shower. And then, yeah, just rinse it out, rinsing it in the same direction again, just to keep that hair tangle free. And then it's time to step out of the shower and commence the styling. So before styling my hair into a slick bun, I like to use a few leave-in products. One is like a multi-benefit detangling spray. And then I'm using a curl cream and a heat protectant, just so I can try and retain as much moisture levels in my hair as possible. And as you see, I'm just raking that all through my hair to make sure that it's evenly coated and as saturated as possible. And to do that, I'm just using the wide tooth comb to draw the products through my hair. I'm gonna use the wide tooth side just to create a little middle parting because I like to have that with my slick back buns. I feel like it's a lot more flattering for my head shape and my forehead. And then from there, I'm just going to comb my hair in the direction that I kind of want it to set in because I feel like it's better to do that when your hair's wet. And that way, you've kind of trained your hair to sit in the way that you'd like it to sit for the actual hairstyle that you're gonna do later on. Once I've combed it back in the kind of shape that I want the style to be in later on, I'm just gonna tie it up and leave it to kind of air dry and set in that way for a little while as I do my makeup, as I get ready, have breakfast, whatever it is that I'm going to be doing for that time. Hey guys, so hair is washed, conditioned, detangled. As you guys saw by my reaction, just take my money. This is incredible. Obsessed with this side. So I've let my hair set and dry a little bit. I did actually put it in a bun as well, just so that it kind of dries in the direction that I want to wear it. So all I'm going to do now is take the bun and ponytail out and basically just neaten it up. I'm going to take some gel, a tiny bit on my hands, rub it together and just like lightly place it all around. And then I'm going to just try and get as many bumps out as I can. This isn't always the easiest for me because I have a lot of hair and it's really curly. I'm going to take like a edge brush. I just put some gel on the brush. Brush up the back first. Just smooth back everything. Then you just want to grab it all and do the same smoothing process until you've got it all as smooth as you would like. I like mine super slick. I'm a little bit out of practice you guys, it's been a while. I'm gonna take a hair tie. I get these from, I think most like Afro hair shops sell them, but they're like really thick, strong hair ties. I like to use a chunkier one first because I feel like it really grabs all of my hair. So what you wanna do is try and keep this ponytail. <laughs> you can see the muscles are working. You wanna try and keep this ponytail as tight as you possibly can. So I basically loop until I can't loop no more. And this is usually only for the first day, just so that it like all sets in place. Wow, okay. As you guys can see, it's, oh no, I've got a lump. There we go, it's pretty slick. The next step, you're gonna take a little edge brush, dip it in the gel. And if you want, lay the edges, which is what I like to do next. I usually do this before my makeup, so I might get a bit of makeup in it, but yeah, I'd suggest doing it before you've got makeup on your face slash forehead so it doesn't get all like janky. Just gonna do a couple of little like swoops, not super dramatic ones or anything. I just really like the way they look and how they frame my face. And I always like to press it down with my finger the same way you would do with like brow gel to set it in place. I don't know why, but it works. I'm gonna take some more gel on the brush 
always just passing my hand over it just to kind of press it down into place I guess make sure to wipe your ear as well because I always end up having like crusty ears from the gel and then the final step is to take another one of those hair ties but like the smaller ones and then I just grab my hair sometimes I put a bit of gel in it as well just to kind of ease the frizz a little bit because I've got quite a lot of hair and twist it And do this as tight as possible because this final step just pulls everything back and makes it even more slick. I find that having the smaller hair tie just really helps to kind of pin in any of the bits that are sticking out. This is the look. I love it. I feel super like fresh and clean. It kind of looks like I've made an effort when I haven't really like once this is done for the first day I can wear this for about four days and all I have to do is just refresh the gel a little bit. So yeah that's how I get my slick bun. I feel like it's pretty simple and honestly I don't even know if I've done my best job today because it's been a while but now that I've nailed like how to get my hair slicked properly it's so much quicker and easier. This is like an everyday like staple look for me. I love it and I got a new hair staple and I, I love when I find something that really really works for my hair and this is definitely one of those items that I will be using for a very long time. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there's any other kind of hairstyles that you'd like to see me do. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Peace.